Are you looking for an all-electric car that's not a hulking beast, but still can hold the family and all the, all the cargo? Well then, watch this episode of The Real DC Car Guy as we take a look at the Volkswagen ID4. Now, VW is not a flashy brand. It never has been. It's been known as the people's car for many years. It has some interesting and quirky vehicles like the Combi van, like the Volkswagen thing, of course the Beetle that reigned supreme for so many years, and of course who can forget the sporty uh, Scirocco and GTI. Well now Volkswagen is all electric. Charging is one of the things that people are really concerned about with electric cars, but here in the Washington DC area, it's really pretty darn easy to charge your uh, electric car, whether it be an ID4 or something else. Uh, there are electric chargers at places like grocery stores. We're at an Amazon Fresh that uses Volta chargers. You'll find those at Safeway stores here in the DC area. There's Mom's Market has free chargers. So there's two different kinds of chargers you're gonna find. You're gonna find a free charger like this, which is great while you're shopping, encourages you come and use their business, or you're gonna find a pay to charge, not unlike you would do at the gasoline station where you would pay to buy a gallon of gas. And that, in that case, you put a card in, a membership card or a credit card, and you buy your electric um, charge from that. It often will ping you and tell you when the charge is over, which is great. So we're charging now. We're going to go in shopping. So the ID4 has an 11 kilowatt hour battery with 288 cells. It accepts up to 11 kilowatts max when it's charging. That's not normally what you're going to get. Oftentimes, you'll get about six to eight out of these. But when you're at a high speed charger somewhere, you're going to be uh, getting more charging. With the ID4, you're going to see a pretty basic crossover. You can equip it with rear wheel drive or all wheel drive. So you can have a single motor in the rear or a motor in the rear in the front for the all wheel drive setup. Now this one is an all wheel drive ID4 so it can be a crossover and it could be also uh, an SUV. But what's really nice about this vehicle is that it is an actual size of pretty much what most consumers are buying these days. It's sort of that mid-size, close to full-size vehicle, inside and outside, which is nice. You sit up a little higher, uh, you have seating for five. Now this is a two-row crossover slash SUV, not a three-row. Now the one thing you'll notice with the recessed door handles is that's for aerodynamic efficiency and that's really where electric cars sort of step up from ice powered or internal combustion engine vehicles. They re the designers really look carefully at how the air flows over each of the vehicles and where it might um, cause a little bit more resistance. Let's have a look inside the VW ID4. Now notice that the door handles are recessed. They don't pop out or anything, but they're right here and it's very easy to get into. All right, so what's interesting about the ID4 is that when you get in the car, it welcomes you and oftentimes you don't have to turn it on. Now in this situation, I've opened the doors and I've activated it and it wants to, it's not turned on. So I'm gonna have to push the button. Most of the time you just get in the car and it's already running, you don't have to do it. It's kind of an odd little thing. So we're pushing the button and you can feel the power brakes go down a little bit all that type of stuff. It's The parking brake is on, so I'm gonna turn drive. There's no need to put a parking brake on. It puts it on itself um, when it goes into park. So there we are. So that's how simple it is to start and to run. So let's take a little drive and let's go on. So it's looking for my Android Auto wirelessly, which is nice. My phone, slide it in the um, QI charging spot there and we're off. So it's not a small electric vehicle at all. It's a big one. It's, it's not super big, but you know, it's about the size of a Tiguan or maybe, a, you know, Audi's, it's bigger than Audi's Q3. You know, it's nice to have a, a vehicle that has some good size to it. I mean, I can put my hand over and I'm not touching the door. 
over there. So there's plenty of space in here. Certainly plenty of space for good sized adults on the front. Uh, three in the back, no question about that. And a nice amount of cargo. Now the ID4 is not a three row SUV or a three row crossover. And as many people are looking for three rows these days. So it is not that. But what it is, it's a very um, capable, simple, all electric car. It just drives very simply. The only thing that's different is the gear shift is up here, because remember it's electric. You don't need to really turn it on. Um, you just drive it. Very simple, get in, put it in drive, and go ahead. It has a single speed transmission, as many electric vehicles do, um, and it's sort of just like turning the rotary dial on your um, a dimmer switch, if you can remember those from the day from the days gone by. You know, depending on how much power you put in, is how fast it goes. So when you put it into B, and you lay off your accelerator pedal, it will go and slow right down. So I'm laying off the accelerator pedal and it's slowing down to the stop sign here. Now, will, will it go to a complete stop? No, I have to hit the brake pedal for that because I don't see a, an auto hold here anywhere. Might be somewhere, but I haven't found it yet. The dash, pretty simple. This has um, the information for your HVAC, for your map, um, radio, telephone, that kind of stuff. Two cup holders here, and if you don't want the cup holders, you can pull this out. Um, and just make it a, a Kubi area. Another Kubi area back here. Uh, two USB-C outlets here. Uh, and I haven't found any more, anything more. This is a close, this closes nicely. It has a nice tambour close to it. Interior is nice. It does have um, a sunshade up here, so I can move the sun, I can move the sunshade back. It's very, very quiet. You hear a little kind of spaceshipy noise, but not much. You certainly hear a spaceship noise when you put it in reverse. But very quiet. Very easy to drive too, and the uh, steering wheel is nice. It has a nice feel to it. Let's go and have a look under the hood of the Volkswagen ID4. Like most vehicles, you open up the hood from the latch on the inside. reach under, find the knob, pull it up, and engage the bar there. Now what you're not going to find in the ID4 is a frunk. Now that's, you see those in a number of electric vehicles, the frunk. Now what you do see in here is what looks like a regular internal combustion engine vehicle, except you have no access to it. There is a radiator here. There are uh, power aspects here. There is a small battery. And yes, electric vehicles have small, normal batteries that we're used to in cars. Um, fillers for all of the um, fluids that you need. People say that electric cars don't need maintenance. Actually, they do. They need their fluids changed, brake fluid, coolant fluid. Now, why does it have coolant fluid? Because it has coolant fluid to keep the batteries cool or warm, depending on what's going on. And then, of course, there is also air conditioning, which is using often a heat pump in an electric vehicle. I don't know what the ID4 uses uh, for that. The heat pump will run on some kind of uh, chemical that cools and uh, warms as it is compressed. So, again, pretty simple, pretty basic. And that is the way Volkswagen likes it. Let's have a look in the back seat of the ID4. Now I put the seat, the rear seat down, so I'm going to put that back up so there's a little space in here. Plenty of room in the back of the ID4, a lot of headroom here. This vehicle is equipped with a glass roof. It is not operable, but it does have a screen that goes over it. There is a fold down armrest here in the center row, which would of course take up that third seat in the middle of the back, which would then turn it into a four-seater as opposed to a five-seater. A space for two cup holders and a small space there. And then also, you can open this up 
and you could have a pass-through uh, if you had skis or something that you were carrying in the back. Here you're going to find uh, air conditioning vents in the center, uh, two USB-C uh, ports, pretty good, and look, two map pockets. You're not seeing a lot of map pockets um, on both seats in the rear of cars. And even there's another little pocket there that would be for putting something in as well. And on the doors, you're going to find two little cubies. So a lot of space back here. Um, grab handles, handle for putting something up there to hang something on. There's a little tiny space up here to hang a coat hanger on, because coat hangers are important if you're a traveling businessman or not. Uh, you have uh, LED lights in the back. So I'm pretty impressed with the space back here and the comfort the seat is pretty comfortable and stuff now there's no room underneath for storage of anything there's probably part of the batteries or something that's under there so that's you could easily get four full-size adults inside this id4 now the hatch of the id4 opens by the use of the key to push it and open it down so inside you can see Plenty of space in here. The back seats uh, fold down. This cargo cover comes off when necessary. You can pop that out. So it, the, what do you do with it if you're on the road somewhere? Uh, underneath here, you're going to see a little storage area, a hidden storage area. You could put a laptop in or something. And then down below, there is some tools and even on more storage area there. So that's good. If you want to put down the, the back seats there, and push those down. You have a nice amount of space in the back of the ID4. Pretty useful for that. So let's go ahead and put this back in. Uh, pretty simple with a uh, little cords that attach to the things. You're seeing more and more of these little cords on things. I don't really like them a whole lot. There's a button here to close the, uh, the tailgate. Pretty simple. So that's the hatch of the ID4. The overall design of the ID4 is pretty much your basic crossover SUV. A hood area, four doors, an area in the back for the cargo, and a hatch. Nothing outrageous. You probably wouldn't sit, go, look at this car and go, oh my god, that's an all-electric car. In reality, it is an all-electric car, which is pretty cool. It is Volkswagen's first real all-electric vehicle for the consumer market. This is the ID4 Pro S, and it is in the gradient package, and it has all-wheel drive. So what does that mean? It means it's an over $50,000 price tag vehicle. This one has 20-inch wheels, while the basic Pro would come in with 19-inch wheels, and you're not looking at those tiny little thin electric car wheels that we saw uh, when electric cars really first came out. So what you've got here is basically a Tiguan styled vehicle that happens to be run on batteries. And it really is pretty simple and it has, this one has about a 235 mile range when I just charged it up. So I'm pretty impressed with that.